Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, I have decided for some time now to do a series of video on the method reduce in JavaScript. This is a very powerful method that you can do a lot of things with it. Unfortunately, a lot of the tutorials that I saw only show some basic uses on it. So, for example, when I when I saw these uh, tutorials when I was uh, starting to learn JavaScript, I wasn't that impressed. I felt like, okay, it's not uh, uh, that big of a deal because the tutorial I saw just uh, show was just showing simple things like how you can sum up all the numbers in an array or something like that. And that doesn't really show you the full power of this method. So I thought I would make a series of videos about this, um, starting with the basic of how the method works, and then in the next uh, videos, in each video, I will explain one more advanced example. I will just explain some uh, basic examples here uh, and how they work. But in uh, each of the next video, I will only show one one advanced use uh, so you can see different uses of it in a real world environment how i use them in my day-to-day -day job so uh, the the method like i said is called reduce and you basically call it on on an array and if you just say reduce like that you're gonna get an error because um this number uh, this uh, method uh, expects you to pass it a function, um, a, a function um, a, a, that uh, will tell, uh, will will basically tell reduce how to reduce the array to what value, right? So I will show you how, like, you put the function in here, like this, okay? And this um, this function. Let me just say console log something, but uh, this is not what's going to happen. So basically, it, it expects a function, um, at least a function, and a start value from which value to uh, to start um, reducing. If you don't pass it a value here, it will start reducing. Uh, it will have the start value as the first element in the array. Uh, now I'm just putting this so I don't get uh, formatted, right? So now this function that you pass has to have a few um, a few uh, parameters. It accepts the first parameters would be an accumulator. The accumulator is the thing in which you sum up things or basically you accumulate stuff into that. Uh, so this, this is basically a variable. You can give it any name, but you have to know that the first value is the accumulator, the thing in which you accumulate. This can be either a number or an object or an array or like any other type of variable in JavaScript, right? It can be a string or whatever, right? Uh, then the next, uh, the next parameters is the value. And again, this, like you know, parameters, you can give them any name, but you have to know what they represent in this function. So this represents the accumulator. The value represents the the moment, uh, the, the value at the moment of the element, because basically uh, these numbers reduced will basically map to the, uh, uh, will basically go to the array and call this function uh, against all these, uh, all these elements one by one. Right, so in here, this will be the accumulator which keeps which keeps changing uh, to what you change it in here. Then the value will change from the first one to the second one to the third one. Now, if you pass it here a value from which to start, the first the first value will be the value that you pass. So it will start from that value with that value in mind. The value that you pass here, you can have this and. Uh, pass it uh, the starting value which could be zero for example if you if you add up things if you want to um, multiply all of them then you would pass uh, uh, pass one or uh, nothing because it will start with the first one right but it's good to pass pass one here if you multiply um, then these are the values that you mostly use sometimes you might need the index as well 
and uh, the index parameter is basically the index in this array, in the array that you call it on, of this value, so the index in the array, and then you basically can pass array as well, if you need to access this array while you're reducing, while you're mapping to it doing the relax function, right? Now, it's better to use the ES6 syntax on functions because if you don't know the ES6, uh, ES6 um, um, syntax, like the arrow, arrow syntax, you should go and look up arrow functions on uh, some uh, YouTube video and understand how how they work instead of the normal uh, uh, functions. Uh, I will use arrow function, so I will translate to an arrow function now. Uh, but basically, you have to know that this is still a function, right? And I will delete these two parameters because I will not use them. But remember, you you can use these parameters as well, the index and the array, right? Uh, for for this explanation, I will only use the accumulator and the value. Uh, and this would be the function and what you want to do and here I will say that I'm starting from, from the value 0 right and what you want to do here is say return accumulator and before you return it because when you return it it basically when you do this return it basically goes to the next number if it if it's on this number it goes to the next number and the value will, will change to 2 and the accumulator at this stage, the value will be 2, but the accumulator will be, will be whatever you return on the previous step. So what you return here will be the value of the accumulator when... So basically, if it runs this once and it does something, it's on this one, it does this function and it returns something, when you go on the element 2, it will have the value 2 and the value of the accumulator is whatever value you return here in the previous one when you were on element 1, right? Uh, so, if we say accumulator, which accumulator here starts with 0, if we say accumulator equals accumulator plus value, so plus the value that you're uh, on, and then I'm returning accumulator, what is it going to do? On 1 is going to say accumulator, which is 0, because it starts with 0. So accumulator equals 0 plus current value, like the value. This is the current value, right? 0 plus 1, and it returns 1. So now accumulator is 1 when it is on 2. So then you say accumulator, which is now 1, will be 1 plus 2, and so on. So basically this when going to all of the array, it will sum up all the numbers, right? So if we say this, you can say it makes the sum of all the elements of the array and you get 55. Now, because you basically say here accumulator equals accumulator plus value and then you return accumulator, instead of saying this, you can just delete this and put here return accumulator plus value. And also, if you have looked up arrow functions, you know that if you only have a return value, you don't need this parentheses. So you can write this one as just this. You can just say this. So basically, accumulator value, return accumulator plus value. And look how simple you you can sum up all the uh, elements in an array using reduce. This is very nice, isn't it? Uh, now, it is important to know that um, there is also a method called reduce write, which is reduce write, which is basically the same thing as reduce only instead of going from the first element to the last element it goes uh, from the last element to the first element and maybe you think to yourself okay but this is the same thing because if i uh, uh, add up numbers from um, uh, from uh, from like uh, one uh, one to ten it doesn't matter in which order 
but imagine that instead of this being numbers this would be words right and you have the words I am a programmer right and you have these words right and now here because you you want to make a sentence out of this if you do this you don't want to start from zero right the 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 accumulator will not be a number it will be a string right so you pass it to start with an empty string right but if you do it like this exactly how we did it before uh, let's uh, change this to words because i'm just like that right uh, if we do this we don't have any space between them so okay words is not defined okay uh, yeah here it's like this all right so let's do a clear now we don't have any space between them so what we want to do is say accumulator plus value plus uh, plus space right and now we get this um yeah now we get with space right of course you will put a space uh, at the end as well that you don't really see here but you can always uh, delete that with a substring so of course you wouldn't use this you wouldn't use reduce to basically do this because to do this you could basically just say words join by space you would join them by a space and it will create a string so this is not a good use of reduce but it's to, to make an example why a reduce and reduce write have different uses because let's say uh, you had the words uh, you had the words um, in the array the other way around I for some reason from whatever you get that array they would be the other way around in the array of course you could say if you wanted to make the the sentence I am a programmer you could say words reverse first so you would reverse it and then use the normal reduce but why reverse an array first and then reduce it to a sentence when you can just say because uh, if I do it now I like it is you would get this programmer am I right so if you use reduce right then it basically starts from here right and you would get the correct yes I am a programmer okay okay so you have seen two two examples of how you can use reduce now uh, let's go to uh, uh, maybe a bit more uh, advanced uh, and let's say that we have um, we have a sentence right like uh, I am a programmer and we want to check how many times um, how many times uh, each letter appears in the word right uh, like the number of occurrences of each letter in the word so um, uh, you can say let cons letter uh, frequency right equals words reduce and what we want to do is we want to reduce this to an object we will make an object in which um, oh and by the way we want to check how many times each letter appears but we want uh, we want to make a difference between between um, between a lowercase and uppercase uh, so uh, uh, let's uh, let's put another one uh, like this um, um uh, my name uh, my name is here right so that we have a lowercase i and uppercase i and uppercase i so we want to make a difference between lowercase and uppercase we don't want to uh, make a difference between them so it will say that we have 
uh, i three times in this sentence because it doesn't make a difference between them, right? Um, uh, and here we want to say this, right? So the way we will uh, check the letter frequency, how many times each letter has appeared in the word, we want to reduce this um, uh, this uh, sent this sentence. We want it to reduce it, but this is a sentence. It's uh, it's uh, it's a string. It's not an array. So first of all, we want to split it to an array, right? So we would say words split by um, and we want to uh, split it by nothing, which means it will basically make every character on its own in the array as an element. So if I do here console log let me just take this off for now and take this right so if I console log a letter frequency now you see that after we split it it looks like this it basically has each element on its own right and then we want to check the frequency and the way we do that we will create basically an object and we will count how many times each letter uh, or character uh, appears in the array so the way we do that is again we say reduce we have the accumulator here and the value and we want to start with an object because we will accumulate these properties in an object we will uh, the, the keys of the object will be the characters and the values will be how many times each character has appeared so you would have uh, i is 3 right um, so we want to say here first return accumulator which is going to stay at the end and what we want to say is we will check each value and we will say accumulator of value so in the accumulator we have we want to say accumulator of value to lowercase because we will only make them as lowercase and we want to say equal accumulator we want to say uh, we, we want to say something like this so uh, basically we can say uh, if ac uh, accumulator of value to uh, lowercase, right? So we say if this already exists, so if we already put them before, then we want to increase this by one, right? So we want to say accumulator of value to lowercase plus plus. So if we already created this property of this letter and it's already there because we have encountered one more in this value we just want to increase the uh, its value with one but uh, uh, if it doesn't exist we want to say accumulator of value to lowercase right equals one so we, we, we create it and we give it the value of 1, right? And now if we do this and this, we can say, we can see that it says, okay, we got i three times, we got seven spaces, we got I a five times, m five times, p one time, r three times, and so on, and we have dots right you see how um, this is really is useful when even for the simple cases like this right it's um, it's basically a very very compact right and this can be right even shorter because instead of doing this if else we can say um, accumulator of value to lowercase oh and we can uh, be even smarter about this instead of writing value to lowercase so many time we can say const lower equals val to lowercase right so we make this constant and we don't have to write that, uh, all that uh, big thing 
uh, every time. So we we're gonna say accumulator of lower equals, and here we say accumulator of uh, accumulator of lower or or zero plus one and again I will show you that this works and then I will explain you why so you see it's the same thing the same result and why because what happens here here we say accumulator of lower equal and here what's what's happening if accumulator of lower exists then it takes this one so in, in this parenthesis we say this one or zero so if this one exists keep this one if this one doesn't exist put zero so what we say is if it exists take this one and add one to it so we give to this one this one plus one if it does exist if not we give to this one zero plus one if it doesn't exist so basically if this exists it keeps this one here and if it doesn't exist it keeps zero and adds the one to it if it does if it does exist it takes this one and adds one to it right so you see how uh, nice and simple you can do something like this so yeah this was uh, two really nice examples i taught the simple ones that i could show for the reduce function now if i skipped over something that you didn't really understand uh, please feel free to leave a comment and i uh, about where you got stuck and i will try to explain it better for you uh, also remember the fact that this is a really powerful method it doesn't only like reduce an array to numbers it can reduce it to uh, objects or array or strings and so on so uh, i'll see you in the next video in which i will explain a more advanced um, use of the function reduce that i use in i use in my day to the job and yeah i'll see you next time if you enjoyed this video and you learned something please give a like and subscribe it will help me grow this youtube channel it helps with the youtube algorithm and I'll be really grateful. Uh, thanks for your time and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.